So here we are on our first rainy day with the love and the time of Corona Grand about to turn seven weeks in a couple of days. And, and they're now actually, again, I caught them at the end, believe it or not. So this is their coming down, isn't it, little Robbie? But there, and here come Bowie too. Hello, baby. So Grace came yesterday, and now the puppies, some of them, as you can see, they're running over when they see me here. This is why I always tell people that keeping staffers beyond the age of eight to nine weeks, in my opinion, is not normally the best just because the dog is so ready to go to their individual owners because, oh, no, 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 they're brilliance. Here, this over this way we pee-pee. Normally they're good pee-pee. You pee-pee over there. Yeah. No, no, no. Here, pee-pee over this way. Pee-pee over this way. Good girl. Pee pee over on the papers. No, no, on the little grass spot. Um, looked like she was gonna squat over there. Uh, so, anyway, um, yeah, they're just really ready for individual attention, as you can see. This guy, especially coming from my feet, and they're also, which I call it interestingly, in the puppy ugly phase. Not that you can tell from looking at them, but right around seven and nine weeks, I think they look so much different than six and eight. That has always been my dead on experience and the experience of. Some other people I have read about ahead of time, but wouldn't have believed it till I saw it. But anyway, one puppy I'm going to keep a little longer because I haven't told anybody about this, but I'll mention it now. In the middle of all these videos, when you guys heard me having a really bad time of it, it was because I've never, ever had a dog come back to me really only one time, and the puppy was only a year old, and it was because a couple, a really great couple, was getting a divorce, and they had not wanted the dog to continue with this one to live in the um, country instead of going move. That's really cute. Hello, into the city. Look at you little playful spunkers. I'll get out of here so I can do a video better. Anyway, recently what happened is this... Um, this uh, really wonderful guy that has an absolutely stunning grand, well, almost grand champion of mine, um, Roxy. Uh, she is just a phenomenally beautiful dog and the cousin of Willow and Asher and only 14 days uh, uh, older, as a matter of fact. It won't be three till June. She needed a rehome. And I think it's just because the guy was moving on with other things in his life and when she got in an altercation with this female mastiff who they had been living happily side by side without so much as a cross-eyed look, got in an altercation. He just was very eager to get rid of her. I think he and his wife are getting older and had other things going. And again, I was angry at first, but rightly so. I think he knew who wouldn't want her. She could have a better life. I reached out to five people and all five people wanted her. So on a stab of intuition, I went with one of my new potential puppy owners of Elvis. And I think these guys are going to be amazing. We've had to iron some things out because they have a lot of contacts in the breed, but they're new to the breed. And, you know, Staffords are fighting dogs. So we got to make sure we don't label Roxy because she's never had any other problems other than this and with Willow. But Willow, it's all of Willow's fault from that, which is why I didn't keep Roxy and myself and instead kept a brother sister. Anyway, long story short, they're amazing. And for those of you interested, we will be breeding her to Asher and hoping for phenomenal results in December. Those guys are going to whelp the litter for me. I'm thrilled and amazed. And we, you know, you never know you're going to get puppies, but your hope is. And uh, we just finished, we have to finish one little health test on Roxy, but of course she's tested on everything else for the breed uh, clear and normal. So we'll finish her hip testing and then we're going to move forward, I think. And so it's going to be a win-win giant great story, but I'm going to keep Elvis longer because um, those guys aren't going to come down to get him until he's about at least 10 or 11 weeks, in which case then I'll take Roxy and work with her for a bit here with Obi and Shaq, let those guys exchange for Willow and Asher for a short period of time, like 7 to 10 days, just so I can make sure Roxy's great with the puppy. I have no doubt she won't, won't be, and we just... He'll be able to take care of himself when he's a year of age, but they want to be cautious. But again, she isn't a dog aggressive dog, so by nature. I mean, she's a Stafford, so she'll have the issue, but he's a male, and I think it should be no problem. I like, too, that his temperament is very sweet, so I think he'll be one that'll be able to... Um, dogs are, you know, at the end of the day, girls think they're the boss, but the dogs will be able to take care of themselves. She's a 25-pound Stafford, which is smaller than my other girls, 
and I don't think Elvis is going to be a 25 pound male, so I think it'll be okay. But anyway, the most important part of making sure it's okay is that they're wonderful people and they're willing to work with not only a trainer, but to work with their own attitudes and perceptions. Because I, I don't have any problems with Roxy anywhere at the shows or anywhere, except for with Willow. Even with Asher, she was great last time. It's just because if you are nervous, which I can understand, then that's going to create problems. And I think that's what John and his wife were just not wanting to have to really worry about it. So anyway, that was a negative happening to me in the middle of all this, but a beautiful positive wrap up. And the reason I'm going to keep Elvis a little bit longer, which worse things could happen to me to have this guy for a couple weeks. And again, with one extra Stafford, then there's no harm done. It's just that I believe that the breeders who keep entire litters till 10 to 12 weeks, in my opinion, that's not right. Because this is a breed that, like I say, you go into the pen right now and you can see how much they need your individual attention already. They start, they love and playing with each other right now. But if I put down the video camera and go in there, they're all about my feet. And thanks to Grace this weekend, right, Al? And they're all sitting at the pen just barking to want to get out so that I'll take them on individual time. Right, Rossi? He was one of the worst. And Mojo over there wrestling. And uh, that is what is... Um, Really great. Right, Della Sweets? Oh, and also, those of you listening that are owners of the girls, I've made up my decision on you girls now because there's only three of them. Uh, so I will be notifying everybody of the girls for their pickup time. So I'll be doing that either tonight or tomorrow. I apologize. I was going to get to people this weekend with when they could pick up. And the boys are going to have to wait a while longer because, again, especially week eight, I'll have a better look. I'm having a very difficult time right now because I think they all have enormous qualities they could offer in the show ring. So I've already talked to my one pet family that will be having a pet male and leaving open the option that we could potentially breed him if he turns out to be the strongest male in the litter despite my picking him as the potential best choice for a companion only home and again all my owners are great homes and I'm so grateful for that there you never look for just a show home you just look for a great home willing to learn about showing and great gain the championship in this particular group I don't think any of you will let me down Foo, Amy Brian, Julie, who's ever listening, because I think all you guys are gung-ho to the Briggs, give it a whirl and to honor the breed. And I really thank you very much for that. So normally this would even go on my private channel, but I think it's great that so many people in the Corona times are liking the videos. So thank you all again from the bottom of my heart because they're going to have wonderful homes and I'm going to love seeing them in the show ring and hopefully making a contribution to the breed. All right, bye.